the little bun that I'm sporting today. This is called the quarantine grocery store look. How to go shopping and keep your hair out of your face and out of anybody else's face. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a great day, especially if you're watching this and we're still in quarantine. Day 29. Today I want to talk to you guys about the things that I am not buying while in quarantine. I do know that there are a lot of families going through unemployment, facing hard times, financial challenges, so I figured if there's anything to talk about right now, it's the things to consider cutting from your budget if at all possible. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Kristen. I do videos each and every week about the life of a teacher, finance, lifestyle, budget, vlogs, travel, everything in between. Be sure to click that little red subscription button and the bell down below to be updated on each and every future video. But first, First and foremost, before we talk about this, I want to make the disclaimer that I am very well aware once again of just how lucky I am that I'm still employed and my husband is still employed. I know that can change on the daily and I know so many families once again are going through much harder times than my own. So I just want to make it known before we have this discussion that I'm aware of how lucky I am. This is not a comparison to anyone else's family, lifestyle, budget at all just an open conversation of the things that I am not purchasing while we are in quarantine. While we are having that talk, let me know down below what things you and your family have decided you can do without during this time. I wanna make it more of a conversation down there and I will be sure to answer each and every comment. So let me know down below in the comment section. But without any further ado, here are the top things I am not buying at this time. Number one on my list are clothes. There was one afternoon I just decided to take everything out of my closet, wipe down the shelves, clean off the hangers, and just put things back in a much more organized fashion. In doing so, I realized I have an abundance of different items that I've probably just accumulated over the course of the last two years since the last time I minimized that closet. So I have since made a pile of things to go to donation. I'm not currently going to sell anything just because I'd rather give them to families who need it, but definitely clothes is number one on the list, followed by shoes. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I did just do a project I was putting off for weeks, if not months. Since getting married, Christopher and I have accumulated two adult households into one home. And one of the biggest things we've kind of put off is our Tupperware collections. I had a bunch, he had a bunch, and we got a bunch as wedding gifts. So finally, I took an entire afternoon, I took everything out, found matching lids, chose the pieces we would keep, organized them in a drawer. I have three bags. Three bags. Of Tupperware to be donated along with all of the clothes, a few pair of shoes, and honestly, it feels more good just to minimize. And if you're stuck in your home and you have abundance of things that you don't need or you would just do better without and you know they would help someone else out, just donate your clothes. It doesn't hurt anyone and it really makes your closet look a lot nicer. That was a really long number one that did not just stick to clothes. What's gonna happen in this video? Number two on my list of things not to buy in quarantine is anything from Amazon or Target. And I put an asterisk on this one. I will only buy things on Amazon if it is a dire, dire need. For example, there's no toilet paper anywhere in the vicinity of Columbus, Ohio on any given day. We are currently doing fine now, but if this continues and I have to order it, that is the only exception. Other than that, I will not be buying them, even though my inbox, let me know if this is you also as well down below in the comments, my inbox is filled with 50% off, 60% off, come and shop our online sale every single day. And sometimes I catch myself going and looking at that springwaretarget.com. I know you, I see you all the time. So I have to kind of catch myself. I do need to kind of do the Tupperware project on my inbox and go through and just delete all of the subscriptions I'm apparently on and the mailing lists I'm apparently on, that way I do not see them. Because when you're stuck at home and you're just looking out your window, hanging out with your cats, cleaning, doing online workouts, I have not missed a workout a single day since March 31st. <gasps> it can be very, very tempting to just wanna sit there and window shop. We mentioned this in last week's video. Just window shop, look around, see what's on sale. If you are someone that likes to do that and you're not willing to give that up, I recommend just leaving your finds in the cart online and letting them sit there for like a week, maybe a month or more. That way you know you really want them and it's not an impulse purchase. But for me, I just cleaned out my closet and my kitchen. Like there really is nothing that I need. I have been practicing a lot of gratitude each and every day, filling out the five minute journal, realizing how lucky I am. And the more you realize how lucky you are and how much you have, 
it really makes you kind of aware or have a better sense of the fact that you don't need as much. So minimalism, I'm so happy you're back. Number three is ordering from food delivery services. Now, I don't want anyone to kill me in the comments. I know that restaurants are hurting. I know that service and industry and retail personnel and employees are hurting. I get that. But for right now, I am cooking a majority of my food just so I can be quarantined in my house. My husband and I are setting aside a separate savings account. So when this is done, we will be doing our part in helping stimulate the economy. We have money set aside to try out new restaurants on the nights that we go see shows because you know my husband and I are big theater advocates. So on the nights we're gonna go have date night, we will definitely be going out to dinner, getting a drink, cocktail, whatever. We have that money set aside to help those out. And when we do go out and get the occasional once a week coffee as a date in the car because that is our quarantine date is us in the car with show tunes and coffee, we always tip. We make sure, we always did, but we always make sure to tip as much as we can, show them our gratitude that they are still out there, you know, not quarantined, facing people. But I didn't want you guys to think that I wasn't thinking of those people, but for right now, food delivery service is something we are not purchasing. We cook 95% of our meals here, and every once in a while, we will go and do pick up ourselves. We'll actually leave the house and go pick things up. That way we know or have a better sense of who has handled our food. It hasn't sat in a stranger's car for pickup or anything like that. If you do order Postmates, Uber Eats, whatever, that is great. That is wonderful for you to keep those people employed. But for us right now, we are just taking a break. This one might sound funny, but number four on this list is travel. Yes, we're in quarantine and I put travel on the list. A lot of people have been looking to make reservations and trips now, thinking that, you know, maybe next year we'll be out of this. Our travel regulations will be lifted. We'll be able to go out again. But right now, my husband and I are still fingers crossed, hoping we can go on our honeymoon in June. I did ask last week in the polls if you thought we were going to be going, and an astounding number of you guys said no. But on top of our honeymoon plans being TBD right now, we did have to cancel a trip to New York City. We were lucky enough, and thank you, thank you, Airbnb. Shout out to Airbnb during this time. They refunded us every single penny, which is great because half of that Airbnb in New York was money we got gifted from our wedding. A lot of Airbnb gift cards were used. Airbnb gave us a full refund and Delta Airline gave us a credit that matched our New York flight. So we have a year as of March 20th. So between now and March 20th of 2021, we can use that credit on any flight we like. So yes, we look around to see where we might wanna travel in the future, but we have not purchased or made any plans. For those people that are making those plans and purchases now, I really hope you're giving this adequate time to, you know, blow over. Well, not blow over, but to clear and lift get everybody else into safety. But travel is not something that we are really banking on right now. Number five on my list of things I'm not buying in quarantine is makeup, even though I clearly have it on right now. I'll be very honest, the first couple weeks of quarantine, I rarely wore any makeup, but now that we're getting over a month into this routine, sometimes I just feel more human, if that makes any sense. If I get up, treat the day like I'm going into the office or the classroom, put my hair up, do something, put on something that are not just pajamas, and put on a touch of makeup. Now, I do not put on as much as I do when I'm filming a video on a daily basis. I actually went and dug out of my stockpile like just some Burt's Bees BB cream so I can go out and ride my bike and have some SPF on, but not buying any new makeup at this time. Even though once again, Sephora, Ulta, I see you in my inbox and I'm just choosing to say no. Speaking of being targeted by ads, I do have a future video coming out on a hack that I have discovered on getting activewear 60% off not clickbait, not sponsored. It's something that I have tried a few times and it's worked each and every time. That video will be coming out in a few weeks time. So stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed. And number six are daily grocery trips. We are currently trying to not go to the grocery store more than once a week. We aim for eight to 10 days and we've been doing that mainly through portioning out our meals, having a meal plan, cooking from home and batch cooking. I feel like I have baked and cooked more now than I ever have in my life. I've mentioned in previous videos that I have made bread, pizza. Last night I made a banana bread loaf. If you watch me on Instagram, I was super excited about it, but I know we portion our meal. So I actually froze half of that loaf knowing I'll use it in a week's time because the loaf itself only lasts three to five days. 
So grocery trips, keeping them as sparse as possible, which is really tough right now because I want to bike to the grocery store. Like during my daily exercise, one of the things I like to do to get out of the house is to just bike like two miles down the street is a grocery store. And now I do bike out there, but then I just turn right back around and go back. It's tempting to want to go to the store more, especially when you have time to cook, but I try to just think of all the people who might not be able to go to the store more than a couple times a month and who might not have that item in stock when they go. Either way, bottom line, grocery trips, not on the daily, and at the very most, weekly. Again, we're aiming for eight to 10 days over here in this house. But that is it. Those are the top things I am not buying while currently in quarantine. I did, however, make a list with my husband on the things we will be purchasing when we are allowed out of this house, when we're allowed to be around people again, basically when life gets to go back to normal, whenever that is. The top things we have decided we'll be purchasing when all this is done are nights out at small business restaurants, this girl voted for hair salons and I will definitely be getting a fresh manicure when this is over. I actually, out of all the places where I know somebody by name, which is very few as a millennial, my nail salon, I've gone to them for two years, mainly just for manicures. I go once a month, I do my own pedicures, it's in my budget, but when this is all over, I'm gonna go in, get a manicure, pedicure, like order it up, give them a good tip because I know for a fact that, you know, they aren't making any money right now. Hopefully they're getting government assistance, hopefully. But that's something I definitely plan to do. But we've also decided on finally rebooking our New York trip. We're gonna go see one of our dear friends make her Broadway debut this year. We're gonna get Broadway tickets, flights. We're gonna go back to Delta and exchange with our credit, basically a do-over of our spring break trip. And then we've decided we wanna to donate to some charities. You know, again, we are big avid theater lovers and a lot of theaters are really hurting right now. So we're trying to decide whether we should give, you know, a cash donation or if we should volunteer talents in charity fundraisers and concerts, however we can do it. We will figure all of that out. But that is it for today's video. Let me know down below things that you are not purchasing while in quarantine and what things you look forward to putting back in your budget when life goes back to normal. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing down below in the comments. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and sport this hair. If you are going to the store, I definitely recommend girls and guys with long hair, twist it up. It's not a safety regulation that I've read. I just know when it's twisted up, it's less likely to touch other people, get in their space. Kind of like how doctors and surgeons pull their hair up before they go into surgery. Kind of treat it like that. Anyway, you guys, stay safe, wash your hands, be kind to people, and I'll see you in the next video.